So if you've been checking out Casper's website and you've come across the Wave Hybrid over there and you wanna know some more information about it before you end up buying it, you've clicked on the right video because I'm gonna to try to do that in this video and tell you everything that you need to know, starting with the policies that this bed comes with. Then we'll talk about its construction, its feel, its firmness, some elements for couples to consider, its pricing, and at the end, we'll even sum things up with a final verdict so you can ultimately determine if it's gonna be right for you or not. Hey guys, I'm JD with The Slumberyard and over here we review online mattresses and bedding products in general. So if you need any more information about a bed that you've been checking out recently within the online space, check out our website, myslumberyard.com or hit the description below this video for a lot more related content and helpful links. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe to The Slumberyard for so much more. But now let's review the Casper Wave Hybrid. At the Slumberyard. Okay, so for starters, policies, what do you gotta know in terms of shipping returns, trial periods, and warranties with the Wave Hybrid from Casper? And for the record, I do wanna clarify that we did receive this mattress for free from Casper to review and tell you guys about it. But for starters, you should be getting completely free bed in a box shipping with this bed. This means that the mattress will arrive at your doorstep inside of a box that's around like four feet tall, rolled tightly and wound up in plastic packaging. And all you gotta do is just drag that box in your home and unwrap your brand new mattress. And if you have a friend there, it's really easy and kind of fun to do. We've unboxed hundreds of mattresses over here at the Slumber Yard and it never gets old, right D-Pain? Never gets old. It's awesome. When was the last time we unboxed a bed? Probably two days ago. Two days ago, something like that. It's a lot of fun. You know, you get a buddy, you get some brewskis, you unbox your brand new bed. Hey, look at that. It's a lot of fun. You have a big, big, uh, big party. Slumber party. Yeah, once the beds are in your possession, you also get a trial period. The Casper Wave Hybrid is backed by a 100 night trial period. So you get a little over three full months to really test the bed out and see if it's gonna be right for you or not and really give it a college try before you either want to keep it or send it back. And in the case you want to send it back, you can get completely free returns within that trial period timeframe. Though Casper as a brand will probably ask you to really try it out for 30 full nights to really make your final decision. It's a really quality premium bed with a lot to offer the average sleeper. So in the case you do want to keep it, it is backed by a standard 10 year warranty, which is the usual standard for most online beds. And we'll try to link more information regarding all this policy stuff that I just briefly went over down below in the description box if you want to know more about it. But now with all the policy stuff out of the way, let's really delve into the Wave Hybrid and talk about the main elements that make up its design. So what exactly goes into the construction of this bed? And frankly speaking, it's a lot. So since this is a hybrid mattress by default, it starts off with a supportive layer of coils on the bottom, and they're actually encased in a foam border to increase the bed's overall edge support. And if you didn't know already, pocketed coils are basically individually siloed springs that really contribute a lot to a bed's motion isolation, increased durability and support, and they even give beds a lot more airflow and bounce if that's something that you're into. And in general, we always recommend that if you are in the range of 200 pounds and up, you're probably gonna wanna look into a hybrid bed as opposed to an all foam one, just to give you that support advantage at the end of the day. Now, above all those coils, you've got one of the bed's main zone support max transition layers, and we're gonna cover more on that in a bit here. Then you have a layer of memory foam that also has some zone support features. And then on top, you've got a couple layers of the bed's main comfort foams called Airscape. Rounding everything out, you've got a really breathable soft grade cover and this entire construction adds up to give the Casper Wave Hybrid a super accommodating soft neutral foam feel. In my opinion, this is probably one of the comfiest hybrid beds that I've ever laid down on over here at the Slumber Yard. It just strikes a really nice balance of overall support that you get from those coils on the bottom and pressure relief from all the comfort foams used above. So it's just really nice and comfy. I think nine out of 10 sleepers are gonna find it to be really accommodating. In terms of firmness, it's right around a medium on our scale. So it should be a great option for all sleeper types as well. Whether you like to sleep on your back, your side, your stomach, or a combination of all three throughout the night, you should be pretty much good to go on this thing. But keep in mind that furnace is an altogether subjective thing that usually depends on how much you weigh. So heavier people like D-Pain the Pain Train and myself, we're bigger dogs and we sink into beds a lot more than an average sized person. So we are probably gonna perceive beds to be softer than they truly are, while more petite or smaller sized individuals are gonna lay more on top and find them to be a little bit firmer. Bunch of big dogs over here at the Slumber Yard. Cole, put up that big dogs thing that Theron made for uh, me and uh, maybe one for a deep pen as well. Thanks. We appreciate you. Cole, great editor. Shout out Cole. You go, Cole. Do, do your thing with that, Cole, if you want. I don't know. Just, or just throw it in, throw it in the trash. <laughs>
But for the average size person, we would say that you're looking right around a medium firmness with the Casper Wave Hybrid. Now, in terms of X factors, there's one main one that sets it apart from the fray of other online mattresses. And that's the fact that it has a zone support design that Casper dubs Zone Support Max on the Wave Hybrid. This basically means that the middle of the mattress is designed to be firmer while the head and foot sections are a bit softer. And this is basically there to help keep your back in a more neutral spinal alignment while you rest at night. The Wave Hybrid uses gel pods and all these little cutouts in the foam for even more targeted support. You might not even notice that's there when you first hop on the bed, but it could help relieve your back pain if that's something that you suffer from. So keep that in mind moving forward. There's a lot of specific bells and whistles that really go into this bed's zone support design. And we'll try to link more information about it down below in the description if you're interested in learning more about that stuff. But now it's time to go into some elements for couples to consider if you happen to be sharing this bed. And the main three that you really wanna know about are edge support, motion isolation, and temperature regulation. In terms of edge support, which basically refers to how sturdy the perimeter of the mattress is. If you happen to sleep pretty close to those edges at night, you don't wanna slip off and fall. And that should not be happening at all on the Wave Hybrid. It's got some great edge support. And again, those coils are encased in a foam border to help out with all that. Motion isolation refers to how well a bed absorbs cross mattress movement. If your partner gets up in the middle of the night to go to work or use the bathroom, you don't want their motion necessarily jostling you awake and transferring through the mattress. You want it to deaden a lot of that motion. And we would say it's great on the Casper Wave Hybrid since it uses some memory foam and some other additional comfort foam layers, those layers really help to really balance and deaden a lot of that motion out. So no real issues here either. In terms of temperature regulation, all the airscape foams make this bed super breathable. And again, there's a lot of airflow in this bed, but we wouldn't necessarily classify it as an active cooling option, more so a temperature neutral one at the end of the day. A lot of other factors go into temperature regulation, like the type of climate that you're in, the types of sheets or pajamas that you're wearing at night. So take those factors into account a lot more than the innate sleeping temperature of a mattress when you you know consider temperature regulation. But just know that the Wave Hybrid is available with a cooling snow technology upgrade. It's gonna cost you quite a chunk of change to get that upgrade, but it could be worth considering if you're an especially hot sleeper. We recently tried that version of this bed out over here at the Slumberyard and it was quite cool to the touch. Again, a great option for a hot sleeper. Now you also have some other great options from Casper as a brand. They also offer the Nova Hybrid, which is a great option for side sleepers who are maybe on the heavier side. You also have the Casper Original, which is one of the most popular and accommodating, you know, all foam beds within the online space, pretty much started the whole bed in a box craze and a hybrid version of that bed, which is a little bit more suitable for bigger body types. And they even came out recently with the Element Pro, which is a more budget friendly version of the original Casper mattress. So if you wanna save a little bit more money, but also go the Casper route, check that one out. We'll have all these beds that I just briefly covered down below in the description box for you to, you know, really peruse. But now let's get into pricing. How much are you gonna be shelling out for the this particular bed. And since it is the most cream of the crop premium option from Casper, you're naturally gonna be paying the biggest price point out of all of the beds for this one. As of when I'm recording this video, the Casper Wave Hybrid retails for around $2,900, just shy of that mark for the queen size. And usually Casper does like to offer some pretty good promotions around major holidays and times of the year of that nature. So check down below in the description to see what's most current with pricing. And keep in mind that it does tend to fluctuate year round. So if this pricing is exact as of when you're watching this video, that's my bad. But again, check the description to see whatever's current. But that's pretty much gonna sum it up for this review. At the end of the day, the Casper Wave, ooh wee, that's a nice bed. I wish I was a sleeping on that bed there. But that's pretty much gonna sum it up for our review of the Casper Wave Hybrid. You know, at the end of the day, this is a really premium bed, super quality, great for people who suffer from back pain, constantly makes our best lists in like the health department and stuff like that. But who should really go with this mattress and why? Here's our final verdict. I would say look into this mattress if you want a supportive coil bed with a soft neutral foam feel that's right around a medium, you like the sound of that zone support max design, and you don't mind spending up for a quality premium mattress that's even available with a nice cooling upgrade but let us know what you think. What is your impression of the Casper Wave Hybrid? Write us down below in the comments. We would love to hear from you. Again, if you need any more information about it, more than what I've discussed already in this video, check the description. A lot more written content, helpful links down there for you. And if you enjoyed this video, you maybe got something out of it and we helped you out towards your decision on this thing today, give this video a thumbs up, show us some love, subscribe to The Slumber Yard for so much more, but that's gonna do it for this one. Again, I'm JD with The Slumber Yard. That's D-Pain the Pain Train behind the camera. Choo-choo! It's a big one. That's not nice. Sleep right, sleep tight. We'll see you next time.
subscribe.